Chapter 2. Project Creation and Management. In this section of the Radiant Introductory Training Series, we will be discussing some of the basics for creating and developing projects using Lattice Radiant. Chapter 2 consists of five sections. In the first section of the chapter, called Creating and Opening Projects, the general process for creating Radiant projects and opening existing projects are covered. In section 2 of the chapter, Managing Project Files, we will introduce Radiant's File List tab and discuss the basics of using it for file management. In the third section of the chapter, called IP Catalog, we will discuss Radiant's IP Catalog and how it can be used to download and install IP. In the fourth section of the chapter, Implementing IP, the general process for generating an IP component and instantiating it in a design are reviewed. Finally, in the fifth section of the chapter, Using Source Templates, we will discuss Radiant Source Templates tab, and how it can be used to use Source Templates in Radiant projects. Chapter 2, Section 3. IP Catalog. In this section of the video series, we will be reviewing Radiant's IP Catalog, and how it can be used to download IP for use in Radiant projects. To begin, we are going to quickly review some basic information about the IP Catalog. The IP Catalog can be used to download IP from the Lattice IP server, install custom IP packages, and generate IP for a project. The IP Catalog is one of Radiant's three project tabs. To open the IP Catalog, select its name from the Project tab section of Radiant's workspace, as can be seen from the figure on the slide. Once the IP Catalog tab has been selected, its contents will appear in the area above the Project tab section. Now that we've introduced the basics of Radiant's IP Catalog, we are going to discuss some of its functionalities in more depth. The IP Catalog consists of two tabs, IP on Local and IP on Server. The IP on Local tab is the default tab that is active when the IP Catalog is opened. This tab contains all of the IP that are available for use in the current Radiant project. Radiant comes with some IP already installed, however, additional IP can also be added for use in Radiant projects. The IP in the IP Catalog tab are organized into two different sections. The Module drop-down section contains the default IP that was installed with Radiant. The IP drop-down section contains all the IP that has been downloaded or installed. Within these two sections are additional folders that are used to sort IP by different categories. To switch to the IP on Server tab of the IP Catalog, select it from the top of the window, as can be seen in the figure on the slide. The background of the active IP Catalog tab will be bolded. The IP on Server tab contains all the IP available for download from Lattice's IP server. Any IP that is downloaded in this window will appear in the IP on Local tab. As can be seen from the figures on the slide, all three of the IP with, installed, next to their name also appear in the IP on Local tab. One important thing to remember, is that all of the IP in the IP on Server tab require an IP license to use. If users do not have a license for the IP they download, they will not be able to generate a valid bitstream unless their strategy is configured correctly. Another important thing to note, is that all IP available for download will appear in this tab, even if the IP is not compatible with the current project device. If an IP is incompatible with the current project device, or some other project setting, then an orange triangle will appear next to the IP's name, indicating that it cannot be used in the current project. One useful feature of the IP packages in Radiance IP Catalog, is that users can view additional information about an IP package whenever. To view additional information about an IP package, users should hover their mouse in the row of the IP they want to know more about, as can be seen in the figure on the slide. Once users have done so, a blue question mark icon will appear in the row for that IP package. Clicking that icon will open an additional IP information window, with detailed information about the selected IP. This method for viewing additional IP information works for the IP in both of the IP Catalogs tabs. Now that we've covered some basic information about the IP Catalogs tabs, we're going to discuss how users can add IP to use in their projects. 
One of the ways that IP can be added for use in Radiant projects is to download an IP package from Lattice's IP server. The process for downloading an IP package is fairly simple. To begin downloading an IP, switch to the IP on server tab of the IP catalog. From the IP server window, locate the IP you want to download. Once the IP has been located, it can be downloaded by clicking the blue download icon, as can be seen in the figure on the slide. Another way additional IP can be added for use in Radiant projects is to install a custom IP package. To install a custom IP package, select the green install icon in either of the IP catalogs tabs, as can be seen in the figure on the slide. This will open a file explorer window, prompting users to locate the IP package file they want to install. Once users have located the IPK, IP package file they want to install, they should click the open button to select the file. Once the IP package file has been selected, a user license agreement window will appear. After users have agreed to the license agreement, the IP will be installed to the Radiant IP installation directory. The last thing we are going to discuss in this section of the video series is Radiant's IP installation directory. The IP installation directory is separate than the Radiant installation directory and is generated in a different location. By default, this IP directory is called Radiant IP Local. This IP directory contains all the IP that has been downloaded or installed for use in Lattice Radiant. To change the location of the IP installation directory, users should first select the Tools drop-down in Radiant's menu bar. From the drop-down that appears, select Options. This will open the Radiant Options configuration window. Once the Radiant Options configuration window has opened, users should select the General page, as can be seen in the figure on the slide. On the General page, select the Directories tab and locate the field called IP Install Path. The IP Install Path field is where the current IP directory is located. To change the active IP installation directory, users should select a new folder in this field. If any changes were made in this window, click the OK button in the bottom right to confirm those changes. One important thing to remember when changing the IP installation directory is to check the Move IPs to New Location option. Setting this option to Active will copy all the contents of the original IP directory to the new IP directory. Additionally, the old IP installation directory will also be deleted. That concludes this section of the introductory training series. To view the next video in the chapter, select the video titled Section 2.4, Implementing IP.